All right, welcome back to another episode of Black Hat Python. In this one, we don't, it looks like we don't have a lot going on, but this code is going to do a lot of pretty cool stuff for us. And of course, we'll be expanding on it. I'm going to show you guys how to use an extremely useful module in Python known as Scappy, or maybe Scapy. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it. I normally call it Scappy. Let me know in the comments section below if I'm right or wrong on that. But it is an extremely useful module because in the previous video, the way Black Hat Python does it is they have you create your own sniffer, right? And implement all this stuff pretty much from scratch. I mean, you are using some libraries in here, like the IP address module, but for the most part, a lot of what you're doing is pretty from scratch. Of course, there's some things abstracted away, like through the IP address module and socket modules, right? Now, uh, what we're going to do in this one is abstract away a lot of it using this tool here. So if you don't have it installed already, what you can do is you can use pip or pip3 in this case for Python 3. And uh, you can say pip install scappy. Now, I already have it installed, so it's going to say already satisfied. And if I do pip3 list if, and I grep for scappy, I'll see that uh, I have it installed. And I can see the corresponding version. So right now, this program is called Mail Sniffer. We're not actually sniffing mail stuff. In the future, in future videos, we are going to be, of course, expanding on this to the point that we can actually use it to sniff uh, mail information, email information from POP3, IMAP, SMTP, all those protocols, right, where we could actually try and sniff out credentials and things like that. But this first program that we got here, and we can even expand this to do art poisoning, man in the middle type attacks, which are pretty pretty cool. So a lot of ways that we can branch out from what we have here. Now, what we have here is basically just a almost like a bit of a proof of concept, just initial get it working type of program here. And just to get a feel for how to how to use this, right? So all we have here is just a simple sniffer. It's just gonna sniff a packet and and dump the contents of the packet. So let me just go ahead and, uh, and demo that just uh, straight away. So what I can do here is just run it with Python 3. Let's make this bigger so you guys can see. Uh, Python 3 mail sniffer.py. And I'm going to have to actually, it's going to error out because I need to run this with uh, elevated permissions here. So let me do that. And then, hey, we see it was able to sniff out some stuff here. Um, Ethernet, uh, destination and source, and uh, you have that in hexadecimal, and you got IBV, IPv6 info, UDP, and then raw packets in uh, a little hex dump here. And th these are all things that uh, Scappy is handling behind the scenes for us. So it's really that simple. We have, so let's step through the code, of course. I almost forgot there because it's just so simple, but we have our main function, which we define here. And it's going to use sniff. Now, whatever you have inside the sniff function is kind of how Scappy will really know uh, what you're looking for or inside the filter, right? So we could have um, we, we could have a, a filter here, a filter keyword, which I, I didn't choose, but that's something that I could have, right? And I could say, hey, filter for, you know, TCP, UDP, whatever, right? And, and you'll see that in, the, in a future video. So I'm not going to spend too much time on that, but... Yeah, we can filter for certain type of packets, right? If we only want to sniff certain packets. And uh, in this case, it's grabbing whatever. Uh, we can also speci specify iFace, and that's for interface. Now, if we don't provide an interface, as we, we didn't hear, it's just going to sniff on all interfaces, right? And then this one here, this PRN, is going to be like the callback function for every packet that will match the filter. In this case, there is no filter. So pretty much for every packet, um, it's going to, you know, call the callback function. In this case, we define it as packet underscore callback, and it will take one parameter, which is the packet object, and we're just printing that off to the screen. So that is why we actually get all this output in the terminal because we're just printing the show, we're running the show method of packet and we're printing that to the screen basically. 
So there's a bunch of built-in methods that we could use as well. But in this case, we just need to use the show method. Of course, checking the documentation will allow us to see what other methods might be avail uh, available, right? And count one, so we're only going to do this for one packet. So as soon as it grabs the first packet, it finds it's going to dump the contents to the screen and then it's going to terminate the program. That's it. Um, and then of course, you know, we've seen this a million times, just, Hey, if you're running this one as the main function, then run whatever codes down here. So we call main main calls the packet callback, print stuff to the screen. And then that's pretty much it. So yeah, that is uh, pretty much the hello world of, of Scappy essentially. Now, we're going to be building upon this sniffer, like I said, to be able to sniff email credentials and do a man-in-the-middle attacks, art poisoning, all that stuff. So definitely stay tuned to these videos if you are interested in that. Now that we learned the man more manual way of doing things, right, with um, writing our, our own stuff, now we're going to be able to move on to use stuff that will abstract all that away where we can we can write even more interesting code, doing even cooler, getting into the black hat, essentially, the black hat of the black hat Python. So if, yeah, if that sounds interesting, definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the like button as well. And I'll see you guys in the other black hat Python videos if you want to catch up. You know, if this is your first video here, you know, go and check out the other ones in the meantime. And uh, I'll see you guys right over there. Thanks for watching.